This is an RTV6 update working for you. Hello, I'm Meredith Barrick, and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. The family of a missing Purdue University student is asking for the public's help in finding him. West Lafayette police say Tavon Fields was last seen three days ago, and his father says it's unlike him not to respond to phone calls or to miss class. Fields was in the news in November of 2017. That's when a story in the Purdue Exponent said Fields chased down and tackled a man who had stolen who had stolen a wallet of a faculty member on campus. Police say Fields drives a silver Honda Accord with a Purdue license plate. If you think you have seen him, you should call the number for West Lafayette Police. That number is 765-413-1623. We are committed to connecting job seekers in our state to current job openings and preparing them for future career opportunities. One of Indiana's largest employers with more than 14,000 already on staff is looking to hire 500 more people right now. Community Health Network is looking for physicians, nurses, cooks, security guards, telephone operators and more. The hospital says it aims to match applicants to open positions which fit their needs and skills. And it's now using something called text based recruiting, which has helped uh, fill a lot of open positions faster. Okay, Community is the first health network in the state to use this type of recruitment strategy and technology. To see the full list of job openings or to apply, you can head on over to HiringHoosiers.com. Todd. Meredith Arctic Air arrives later on this evening, courtesy of another cold front coming through. As that front comes through, there is the chance you could see a few snow showers, little to no accumulation, but it will usher in even colder air for the day tomorrow. You'll wake up to temperatures in the negative numbers to the north, single digits from Indianapolis down to the south. Those were actual temperatures, but a wind chill advisory will be in place from Indianapolis northward throughout the morning hours tomorrow as wind chill values could be as cold as minus 20 degrees. Todd, thank you. For more stories and weather you need to know, download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.